welcome to this tutorial on MIDI control in Motion 5. We're going to be using the BCR 2000 made by Behringer to control Motion 5 effect parameters. The BCR 2000 is Behringer's USB MIDI interface with 32 rotary encoders. You'll see 24 at the bottom. The top 8 also have on-off switch like functions with a, a press function. Uh, also has 16 on and off buttons. Um, an additional four down below and this has 32 different presets so you can arrange whatever you need on these 32 knobs and then jump to another preset and arrange on those 32 so in reality this board has 1792 rotary encoders available to control so it's a super useful board um, at the top here, in one preset, you can jump four different levels. So these top eight encoders gives you the ability to stay in the same preset and have eight different encoders per these four switches here. So a lot of flexibility, a lot of control. Um, intended for the audio community, but super useful within the design community with Motion 5. So let's take a look at what we can do in Motion 5. We're going to start by creating a rectangle and we'll go into the inspector and the properties and we're going to control the scale. So you click the arrow next to the scale, the down arrow can be found next to any of the effect parameters and we're going to add a parameter behavior and use MIDI to control it. So now that we have this selected all we have to do is roll the knob and it automatically learns which knob is to control that parameter. So it starts off all the way at zero and rolls all the way up to one and it's moving at a scale of one so if we go into the properties and look at our scale we'll see that it's going to jump from 100 to 200 and if you wanted to move the scale and set it to let's say zero it'll roll from zero to 100 so you can set the effect parameter where you want it to start and then use the MIDI behavior to control how far it will move um, with the scale. So we're going to turn our scale, let's say, up to 100. And now you get this really huge movement from 0 to 1. And if you wanted a smaller incremental movement, let's say 0.5, now we have a much smaller movement. So we'll set this back to 1. And that's essentially what you do to control any parameter, effect parameter within Motion 5. So I've already set up a project, so I'm going to close this project. And we'll save it. Now this is a rectangle object here that's been replicated here. If we look in the inspector, we'll see our replicator controls. So the first one I set to scale and then I went down the replicator starting with the start point for X here's Y, here's Z in and out and then here's the end point X, Y, and Z. The next one is the control point so it goes up to 25 and down to 5. Next one up is our rotation so X angle, Y angle, Z angle, and our angle ends. Here's our X, our Y, and our Z. And then angle random. Now the next one, if you scroll down here, I've set this to colorize over a pattern. And I've selected the opacity handle for the beginning and that is being controlled. So if I click here, you'll see that the opacity is being controlled. So there's the beginning opacity, here's the ending opacity, and then the next thing was the color. So our reds are greens and our blues. So for all of you color correctors out there, you could set this up to use uh, in color correction. Uh, it's a quick, handy way to really control a whole lot of effect parameters and not reach into the inspector every time you can quickly grab the device 
and make changes. And the ability to grab two at the same time um, is really useful. So you can kind of really quickly arrange and do interesting things with your design work um, on the fly. And the fact that this is a project file, I can go back to it and just change what I'm using for my object source. Let's say a circle or even an image or a video. So here's our circles here. Um, and you, you really get some interesting things happening very quickly. So replicator, setting up a, a particle system, setting up a color corrector, um, and I even have a camera. So let's take a look. So we'll save this and close. So here's one of the more current designs on motion graphics market and what I've done here is just use four different rotary encoders to control camera. Um, so if I go into our layers, select our camera, go into the inspector, you can see in the camera properties that we are controlling the x-axis. So you'll see we have left and right dolly type moves and the y-axis so you'll see some up and down kind of pedestal moves. And then this is where the design really works. Um, what, what the design was intended for was the z-axis. So you have this dollying in and out movement. And then the last thing that we controlled was in the camera, the angle of view. And this you can see a little bit better if we go into our perspective. So the angle of view, you can go from a telephoto to a wide angle. And then here's our z-axis dolly move. So using this device really saves a lot of time. Um, gives you the ability to quickly establish design ideas with project files that are already MIDI mapped. Uh, the, some of these project files will be offered for free on the website and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial with the BCR 2000 and Motion 5. We'll talk to you soon.